the trawling on this coast for shrimp was the most productive after World War II. General Motors came out with a high-speed diesel. That high-speed diesel was lightweight and it wasn't hard to haul around in a boat. So the high-speed diesel with the clutches really took off the shrimp business in the 40s and 50s. To make ends meet, they got more nets. They weren't catching any more shrimp because the shrimp supply had diminished. And when this came about in the 70s, we got concerned about the shrimp business. And we realized that the shrimp cycle needs to be cared for. One of the things you learn about early on is called the tragedy of the commons. And the concept goes back to grazing lands in Old England, and they had common grazing areas, and all the farmers would let their cows graze there. No one really owned it. It was the commons. It belonged to everyone commonly. What happened in those areas was the ground was quickly overgrazed because it's in every individual's best interest to let his cows eat as much of that ground, as much of that grass that he doesn't own, as he can. And then he can get more milk and have more cows. As apparent as it could be in grazing land in a village, imagine how it is in the ocean, where none of us can look in the ocean and see what's going on down there. It's that much easier than in the ocean for the tragedy of the commons to take place. And it's in everyone's best interest to go out and catch as many fish as they can. The individuals that are just acting as we expect when they go out on their own and take too many fish. You need something that solves that. And I of the tragedy comes, the only way you solve that is by regulations that affect everyone. Fish will come back in time. If you leave them alone, they'll come back. It's been a good thing. It's been a tough nut to swallow. 